So Stanton House is a supported living scheme for four individuals living in Aylesbury. Uh, fairly independent. We were supporting them with numerous um, activities uh, to try and build on their life skills. Um, initially, we had a sleeping member of staff on site, so there was staff on site 24-7. She um, helped me quite a lot during um, post, checking on my post, checking on me, checking on everything. We had a number of people that we'd supported, four people over a number of years, who it was clear now didn't really need a 24-7 staff presence. And if we don't need a staff presence there, then actually the best thing to do is to withdraw the staff presence. When we initially spoke to the service users about reducing the support from the staff here, they were all quite excited, mm -hmm. looking forward to having more independence. You know, family members want what's best for their, for their loved ones, um, understandably. And so we initially thought there might be some resistance to our proposals to sort of change the way the service is delivered. Um, but this was actually the opposite. Um, we found that family members uh, recognised and saw exactly what we were saying, which was your sons, your daughters are actually um, quite able, quite independent and, and don't actually need a staff presence here. They, they'd all come so far anyway um, and this was just the next step to independence. Well I've got Jonathan as a good friend now so it's nice I've got some friends. We organised with them some volunteering stuff, obviously looked into what the activities they like doing and um, you know what worked well with them and then we've got one gentleman that now works three days a week. Yep, permanent, permanent employment, paid employment. I travel on the train to High Wickham and back every Wednesdays to Fridays, which I go to work at Bucks County Council in High Wickham. Um, at the moment on Mondays I am going back to college to get better qualifications in maths and English. And they've been supported to become quite independent. So for us, that, that is a success in itself. It's a really nice feeling yeah, to see how independent they are. Cooking meals, doing washing, laundry, doing my own shopping. Um, I'm also an independent traveller. So we have a tenant that's um, hard of hearing. Um, and obviously there were some issues and concerns around sort of fire safety and things like that. So we organised with Action for Hearing a bellman system. When I um, take these out at night, I don't hear anything, so... Uh, so a light would flash on the smoke detector and the vibrating would, pillow would go off if she was in bed at night time, so she would know there was an emergency. It was great to have them, because without that system, we would be um, starting back to square one again. So in relation to our staff team, um, we consulted with them as well as part of this process. Um, we didn't want staff to feel that they were being excluded or that they were at risk of uh, being made unemployed or, or, or losing their sort of their, you know, their means of a livelihood. And I think as staff and as managers, change is always a good thing. Um, it kind of keeps you interested in what you're doing um, and you can see the difference that you're making. We were able to provide uh, in excess of £100,000 savings to the local authority, A, by changing the service delivery, so removing the staff office um, and redeploying the staff team to a nearby service. Our key vision is to make sure that people are supported in their homes and get the support that they need. And so this ties in quite nicely with our visions and our values. You know, we are clear that we put our service users and our tenants first in all that we do. I think for me it's, it was just about seeing them bloom really and you know being in that sort of you know they are our young adults and it's reminding them that you're not children anymore and you can make your own decisions and you don't need to ask permission and so that actually watching them bloom into being the adults that they are you know I think that was lovely. It's been brilliant, it's, I'm really enjoying it. It's good having, I like to have my own independence. Just seeing the difference that you make to people's lives, um, the majority of the time it's a, it's a positive thing and you know you can see them move on and become more independent and have the life that you'd always want for them. Yeah.